Yeah. Hello, everybody. Uh, as uh, already mentioned, my name is uh, Costa. You can address me as a cost. I am a team lead senior uh, software engineer in Svitla Systems, and I'm here today with you from home, as <laughs> most of us, uh, to share uh, my experience uh, about integration into the development team as a team member, as a team lead, as uh, just a side person who observes such processes, or just person who being involved uh, voluntary or involuntary. Uh, the agenda will be so I will a bit introduce myself and we will review the um, issue from different perspectives. First of all, I will describe the common uh, issues which we face during the integration into the development team. And then we will see how the newcomers uh, might improve their experience or show the, their best side. Uh, while integrating into the team. And in the last part, we will discuss uh, what can team leads or responsible persons or you as a developer or you as a manager, what can you do um, to, to make this process better, more effective and more beneficial for company, for team, for, for new team member. Uh, so let's start. Uh, Let's see, yeah, who I am. Uh, I'm a speaker. First of all, I do such speeches uh, all the time uh, for, for my company, for Svitla Systems, as already was mentioned for the SoftServe uh, from time to time and just for universities and so on and so on. I think my, my standpoint is that uh, we need to share our knowledge uh, because the we involve the whole industry here uh, in Lviv, in Ukraine. We improve each other by sharing these knowledges. And it's like we have some concurrency over the companies, but overall our goal to, uh, to make our field valuable and to be so for many, many more years. That's why I think it's worth to share the the knowledge between companies and with the students and so on. Uh, I'm a speaker for a long time. Uh, from the childhood, I like to uh, perform, to, to, to share my knowledge or to do something interesting. Uh, for example, I played d d game, uh, which is tabletop role-played game with my friends. I like to play just tabletop games with my other friends and many friends. I do uh, organize the uh, mega games, so-called, for multiple participants, hundreds, up to 100, yeah, here in Lviv. Also, I do organize and participate uh, in so-called uh, LARP games, live action role play games, uh, for example, this is the photo of two years old uh, here in Lviv. We've organized the, the LARP game about the Vampire the Masquerade world. Uh, maybe, maybe somebody is familiar with that. Uh, also, I do play uh, intellectual games and as you can see, win some from time to time with my team. And I do organize some uh, patriotic military games in the woods. Uh, conclusion, I am this kind of a geek. And I had to uh, to cooperate with many people. I have a lot of experience of newcomers, not only in the development company, but in, in other groups. And that's actually pretty similar experience uh, because mostly the, you, you can be newcomer in, in any group, in group of friends, in, in the, maybe in the new relationships in the family, uh, and in, of course in the company. But kind of way, it's all similar, and we may like may have, may have a set of rules that will help us uh, in 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 any case. So let's see what we are usually facing. Uh, that's <laughs> that's the photo of my uh, workplace. 
from my experience, um, I observe or participate the uh, team integration from different roles. Uh, often when I start work in the company or just in, in a new room, I try to make it mine by organizing the workspace uh, the way I like. And actually when the, even if it's not my team, my team member, but HR representative or uh, uh, recruitment representative, I introduce the new person uh, in our room, I feel obliged to help this person uh, to settle here because it's like, already my room, it's like my home. So I, I'm feeling like a host and I'm trying to be most welcome with that person. That's why uh, from time to time, I have been um, involved in the team integration without being a team member. So Houston, we've got a problem. We have a new team member, but what, what, what should we do with him or which are the most common so-called problems or issues that we face or I face with, uh, from my experience uh, for newcomers in, in the team in the company. Uh, first of all, usually when the problem starts, when we have no plan. So it happens so uh, like the new person comes in the room, uh, somebody, introduces him like this is Stepan or John I don't know but uh, that's it here is your place John sit down work here and they're leaving uh, so usually the main problem is starts from not having a plan of integration how this person will spend his first day days or weeks in the company. That's most common pr problem because um, the, the, the reasons can be multiple. I face it that just nobody feels that it's their responsibility to conduct such a process, such a meetings uh, to help this person in, into the company. Or they think that they completed their part for I don't know, from HR perspective. So the person signed all NDA, all documents, sent copies of his documents. You show him the workplace, uh, system administrator, uh, signed uh, some technique, and that's it. So he has a laptop, he has a workplace, he should work. But no plan how this, no, no pipeline how this person will be handled into the company. The second most common problem uh, I've faced is no, no man. So as mentioned from the previous part, if we have no plan, usually we have no man responsible for the for this person integration. Uh, we expect that somehow it will be handled by management or by team lead who is busy on the project by like, common issues or urgent issues or releases, and he just have no time. And it's often that in advance, nobody thinks about to assign some dedicated person to handle this process. And that's the problem number two I faced. Problem number three is that there is no accept acceptance from the team perspective. So team is not ready for a new team member to be integrated. I had an experience when I helped, I worked in another company and I helped to interview the engineer for, for the position. I conducted the interview, uh, gave him a feedback and that was actually a positive experience because this person um, re requested the meeting with the team before discussing or before signing the uh, the agreement with the company contract with the company so uh, he like visited the 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 company visited the team room uh, was introduced to the team and team was ready to accept this person uh, he was aware that there is a new team member they knew why 
uh, they have this new team member. So they wasn't worried about that. Maybe somebody uh, from the management decided to replace someone from the team with this new team member. They actually knew that some in, in, in a week or so, or in two weeks, this person will join the team, that he will fill the position uh, the, this is position it's, is not so but is uh, somebody's of them workplace and they were basically ready uh, but the story was not so successful because uh, this person was uh, um, like bought back from his original company and he hadn't joined that team but that was a good experience the bad experience is more often uh, because even if we have a plan we have a man we usually do not think that we need to uh, to get ready our team for a new team member. We usually think that we need to help the new team member from his perspective and from our perspective as a management, but we usually do not think that we need to help and prepare our team for the new team member. Uh, that's the three most common issues. Uh, let's move forward. Yeah, I, I haven't announced uh, that the, the 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 protocol for the questions. Uh, so let's let's do them after the presentation, and uh, just keep notes uh, if you want to ask something. Because maybe in the final part or in the next part, I will answer uh, your question and ask questions uh, just in, in the scope of my presentation. So let's move forward. Um, so what to, what can you do as a new team member uh, to improve your integration process to show, as I, as I mentioned, you from the best, from the best perspective, from the best side of you. Uh, so this, this will be a set of examples which you should do and uh, which you should not do, they will be paired because they kind of relate. First of all, uh, that's my favorite advice. I, I usually uh, stress on some one point, and this is the one point I want to stress in this presentation. Uh, if you wanted to remember something, remember this one, this part, and this will be beneficial for your future. First of all, as a new team member, try to be as professional as you ever wanted. So from my experience, it's often the case when you like to, um, uh, to improve some practice on your, uh, in your current team, on your current project, but you like have a workflow, you have urgent issues, and often some advices or some ideas from you uh, was put aside uh, by the management, by the team lead, or, or just you understood that this is not the best time to, to integrate this practice. But you, like, you have this on the back of your mind. Um, you remember that you wanted to try this and you think it's, it's, it's a good approach. We all have such things. And when you are integrating in a new team, you are the, mystery you're a dark horse you're a new one so you can be whatever you like and in this case my advice to be as professional as you can be we have like ideal programmers like in our minds so we would like to like to spend some uh, as as a developers often yeah we we like to spend uh, some time on open source projects we would like to have a dedicated time for self education we would like to improve some development practices uh, we want to have a code review on a project we want to want to have a, an automation we want to try some new field new team is a chance for you to do this new team is a chance for you to uh, change the the attitude to you that you've had from the for example from the previous team uh, i had an experience with uh, my teammates uh, that i've joined the team after the it was created so basically it was two is developers and 
and uh, I joined the company and we have like a separate department of IS development. Uh, we joined different projects uh, to develop the IS part, obviously, because usually customers, uh, for, uh, for instance, five years ago, ago it was common then uh, when customer came to company, they want the website uh, for their idea, and usually they wanted to mobile application to have a mobile application uh, because it was became popular. And I've joined the team of two engineers that already uh, was working in the company, but uh, and it was in a small town, and basically they all they all graduated from the same university, and the uh, Older engineers, they were graduated from very same university, and they basically already had some opinion about those younger engineers. And those guys, they have a, a reputation like of younger, weaker, uh, less experienced developers, and others were, I don't know. Other were, were like not 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 really expect uh, respected them their opinion and when I've joined the team I was as I already mentioned uh, black horse nobody know who I am nobody know what is my experience I studied in a different university in a different part of the country I had a lot of experience with, on on a freelance and so on and so on and I've managed by joining the team. Not only to show myself as a professional by uh, completing the tasks that guys that already worked uh, on the project spent like three months and they were not able to do this. But uh, moreover, uh, my new authority helped uh, to grow the overall IS department and I helped them to to show their uh, experience, to show their knowledge. And overall, every, everybody in the team was beneficial from uh, me joining as a team member and me being as professional as I could imagine. Uh, but this advice has, has almost, uh, every advice has a uh, backside or backside. Uh, Usually when we join in a team and trying to improve, uh, trying to advance some experiences, we mention our previous projects. And this is kind of a, a case when you like have a new relationship and mention the previous relationship in a dialogue. That uh, always flames up the, the heat and uh, even if, those advices, as I mentioned, those professional ideas you had, uh, you suggest uh, you had from the previous project, and you suggest now, if you mention the previous project, it will be usually abandoned uh, and not accepted be just because you mentioned the previous project. So, the second advice as a downside of this one, even if you want, uh, if you accepted that you will be as much as professional as you wanted on a previous project, please do not mention previous projects because it will have a downside like mentioning ex-girlfriend in front of your new girlfriend. Uh, second couple of advice. The initiative. Uh, the, as we already mentioned, the new person is unknown person and Everybody wants to to better understand you, wants to know who you are, and wants to know uh, what experience do you have and how much trust they can have in you while you are on a project. Uh, and if you will sit quietly without any initiative at all, you will never benefit from from being on a new workplace, from joining on a new team. You should um, show your initiative whenever it's possible, whenever it's good and positive for the project and for your future. Do not sit on the like 
on the back row and keep quiet. Be initiative. When uh, like a team lead or scrum master asks uh, who wants to to take this ticket, uh, and nobody wants, nobody show initiative. Be that person. Even if you do not, sh if you are not sure whether you not hundred percent sure, but have overall understanding how to how to complete this task. Be initiative and take the responsibility. Because if you will do. And we know, uh, I know from my experience that there are no tasks that cannot be completed. You can divide them, you can separate some part which like can be completed in a reasonable amount of time and resources and so on and so on. But in a way, each task which is groomed, which is estimated, which is in, in, in a Backlog can be completed in a way and be initiative to take this, be initiative to improve the new technology, to investigate the new technology. And here's from my experience, the, 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 the story I've joined those team of two engineers I mentioned previously. So nobody knows nothing about me. And I was asked if whether, whether I have willing yeah whether well, have initiative to um to try to do some task uh, that was the task to uh, integrate the peer to peer calls into the into the mobile application uh, and that was it so basically we have a contract with the client and the part of this contract part of the uh, development uh, was to integrate calls so I've decided, as I mentioned before, to be as professional as I can. Uh, I didn't know how long this task will take. So I requested two weeks. One week for investigation and the second week for implementation, if I, if I will have some findings. So during the first week, I've investigated the market. I've uh, selected the WebRTC technology, which was pretty young in, in, at that time. And I found out the SDK, which was suitable for iOS, Android, and the web. And the, the company that provided SDK, SDK also provided the uh, server, which should establish peer-to-peer -peer connection. So I came up with uh, those conclusions uh, of my investigation, results of my investigation to, to the manager, and I, I described what I I described my findings. I've highlighted that solution I suggest, and it was accepted. And during the next week, I've integrated this SDK in, into the project, and like uh, it was more or less one small company. So I've built the application on uh, my test device, build device, build the application on the test device of the director. And uh, okay, Alex, let's test. Tap the button, called him. Uh, moved to another room uh, with the video, with the phone, uh, with the audio. Showed everything working, and came back to the, to the room where he was, and he was so surprised. It appeared that the team tried to do something like that for three or four months but have no results. And as I didn't know that this task was so hard for the whole team, I've just applied my professionalism, my best understanding to complete this task. And from that moment, after completing that task, I'm from the like, regular developer. I was promoted already to be a lead of this uh, IS group and in future, I uh, was trusted a lot with the uh, investigation, and my opinion was like really valid by the management. So be initiative as a new team member, and you will you will always benefit. Uh, take the take the best chances and do the most effort you can do uh, to to show your initiative, to show your skills. Also, as I mentioned those advices goes in pairs so downside know it all nobody likes know it alls 
So while you are being initiative in taking responsibility, in working, in getting things done, try to limit your initiative or try to think how not to be know it all. Uh, because it bothers people who is already on a project. Maybe somebody also know this information you like trying to push or you like trying to mention, but they are just thinking that's a common information and uh, that should not be pointed out. Uh, as I mentioned, nobody not likes know it alls So be initiative in responsibility and um, take uh, Good thought before uh, asking on uh, answering on every question that were asked by management, by the team member, by the I don't know by the person who drives the meeting. You are on. Next advice. Uh, that's from the personal experience. While you being a professional, while you being a, an initiative, be polite as well, uh, because. I have an experience to work with the different people in the different development teams, and there are different approach how to handle stress, how to handle pressures. Uh, some team like has a common uh, practice to use the hard words to describe their uh, attitude to like to the wishes of the client and so on and so on. Uh, some uh, some teams like like to, to to have a jokes to 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 decrease the stress and so on and so on. But while you are a newcomer, you should be like as polite as uh, James Bond. Uh, you will have a time to 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 join those practices, but at the beginning, show that you can be a uh, a professional whenever it's needed because in most of the cases this behavior like joking like saying swear words and so on and so on can be applied to certain cases and uh, while you can distinct those cases you might do not a good not a good sir you you might do not a good service to yourself to your uh, profile as a developer profile as a team member while you're trying to do this so be as polite as possible uh, you don't know uh, whether your words can hurt somebody and uh, yeah let's i have an, a good example here so several years ago i've joined the project uh, which was the um, it was a product company uh, and uh, the founder of the company was uh, a product owner of the mobile product. And when I joined the team, I saw the code base. It was mix of the different approaches, mix of the different uh, SDKs, which in general, each separate SDK can solve the, 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 the whole, uh, the whole set of tasks, but for some tasks were used one SDK, for some tasks were used other SDK, uh, and it's a result of multiple developer, developers working on a, on a project, and they were like switching from time to time. And on the first demo, after the first week of work, I've mentioned that the project in front of the, the CEO, which was the product owner, I mentioned that this project is has a horrible code base. Uh, it's need to be rewritten from the top to the bottom and, and so on and so on. And you know what happened? He began to argue with me. Even though I know I was I knew I was right, but I had a feeling I did something wrong. Because he was so aggravated. I haven't expected this reaction. After that meeting, the uh, team lead of the QA team uh, approached me and she said, because uh, you know, uh, you did a bad thing. Uh, I said, why? I said the truth 
I wanted to 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 person responsible. I wanted management to know the current state of the project because it, at, at at some point we might reach the 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 case when the the we can't do anything with the code. And she said, "Yes, you're right, but you forgot that for founder." For the CEO, this project is like a child. And when you're calling like somebody's child ugly, you for sure get the person parent aggravated in you. So that was the lesson I learned for the future. And that's the advice from my experience I can I can give to you. Be as polite as possible. You don't know which thing can um, uh, can hurt uh, other people so doesn't matter even if you're right try to share your ideas try to share your experience and your understanding at, in the politest way possible and the next downside of this advice or, or opposite uh, behavior don't be a joker you will always have, even if you have the good sense of humor, uh, also the reason is, is the same. You don't know uh, what topics are, as I said, aggravating or uh, touchy for other team members, for other people. Uh, jokes are good for decreasing stress, but when you have already experience in this team integrated in this team and you understand the the way the people think the way the people accept the humor and so on uh, even even if you never communicated with team members in 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 official way any jer jokes on the work might be not accepted even if they are good uh, so that's it about the part from my advice is from the perspective of the new team member. What other perspective, other point of view, what can we do as a team or can you do as a team leader or as a manager to handle the new team member to help him to integrate in development team in a smoothest way and to help this person to become a part of the team and effective uh, developer, effective participant in the in the shortest and the easiest way. First of all, as the book advises, don't panic. Uh, usually, it's not a problem. Even okay, that's that's for later. This is advice advice for later. So first of all, have a plan. Even a bad plan is a good plan compared to no plan. Uh, uh, even if you like, will <clears throat> go through the <coughs> whole process of the integration in your mind and have like step-by-step -step, uh, visualization of how a person will come into the office, how it will be led to um, its workplace, how it will start work, start work how it will get the access, uh, how, will, uh, how will it find out where to take a coffee and so on and so on. Even if you will just uh, think what would you do as the newcomer and what uh, like problems might you face, for example, how you will enter the office if there is a uh, card uh, entrance system. Do you have a card or not? Will this person have a card or not? Who will welcome uh, th this person? How this person will contact with the responsible representative who will lead, them, uh, lead the person into the company, into the office even? Who will show the workplace? Uh, who will give the uh, all needed equipment for this person? Will it have a chair? Will it have the, the desktop at, at which to work uh, does and you can go even further you can think does this person have a special requirements for the uh, workplace 
for example, a lot of developers like to uh, to work from standing desks. Yeah, and the most most in interesting uh, question, which is beneficial for now for those companies who uh, ask themselves about it, would this person like to to go remote, to work remote? Do we have enough of laptops to allow our workers, our developers, our uh, QAs, our engineers in general to work from home, to work remotely? What what to do if this person will need to go on site to to the client, for example? Uh, so what type of computer does this person need? Mac, PC, should it be laptop? Should it be stationary? Does this person need the uh, the screen additional and so on and so on. This simple plan, even if you in your mind, will give you a lot of uh, benefits in terms of a new team member integration. And if you start to write this plan down and use it or reiterate it before the every new person join your team or if you will fill up this plan with the things that were going on during the team integration for this person then for future you will be more prepared to the new team members so have a plan even in your head write it down uh, update it with the findings during this current team member integration use this plan or think about this plan or grade this plan for the future team members. So plan is a key. Uh, uh, important part, part of the plan, wiki. We are developers or engineers in general or, or QA engineers. We are new on our workplace. We've been seated at some desktop we've been somehow uh, we came into the building uh, we sit in one room with the for example in the best case all all the team uh, is seated in one room or it can be even distributed team and where do we can get answers to our common questions uh, how to start project uh, we, uh, which credentials should we use for testing uh where even if we have access rights which project should we uh, download or clone from the remote repository how to start it should we use from my perspective coca pods or something else those questions are pretty common and they even can be asked by the current team members so having a wiki page is the key how to help your new team member to integrate. Because we're often afraid to ask such questions um, to, the, to, to, to give these questions to other team members. First of all, because we are shy. Uh, second of all, we don't want to look stupid because for somebody who works on the project, those questions like, which repository to clone is stupid because it's obvious you have access to the to the team repositories that's the main project clone it or which branch that's obvious but you might not have this new team member might not have uh, this workflow workflow experience and might be shy to ask a question in this case to have a wiki is a good thing uh, Another argument for the wiki, um, in, in our work, we usually use some level of automation. For example, on my project, I use the uh, Git hook, which allows to add the uh, branch name to each commit uh, you're doing on, on, a, uh, on a Git. And in this way, uh, and the, you need to name your branches after the uh, issue, uh, issue numbers in Jira, for example. And in this way, Jira allows you to attach the commits to the, to the issues 
as a comment and you can review what uh, what code was changed in the scope of that specific ticket or the specific issue or even more using blame you can see in scope of uh, which ticket uh, this line of code was changed and when i work when i prepare the project when i lead the project i usually create wiki pages for development workflow and this is the part of the wiki i've described uh, i'm describing uh, how to uh, enable git hooks how to enable this specific one i place the code which need to be placed in this file how to make this file executable and how to test it that it it's working that's the part of automation you're doing one time and you will forget about it for good because it's working and a new team member and when new team member comes you will will not remember this thing to mention if it is not in your plan if it is not in your wiki you will never remember it and you will see the problem when it occurs you will see that commits from this person or you will see just commits which which are not attached to those to the specific issue and you will start to track the, the root cause of the problem and you will see that the person just didn't know about this piece of automation and this piece of automation or such things are really good idea to be placed into the wiki or from my experience uh, for example if you do develop the 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 system that works on uh, subscri subscriptions approach uh, yes and basically i had a project which you cannot log in without the valid subscription because it was a part of the project the the, the subscription validation and credentials for test users with all access rights with the prolonged subscription and so on and so on was on the wiki and that also helped me to integrate into the team and not to ask too many any questions not to distract the people from their work next thing uh actually that's the thing i read in the article and i really like it because it, it's described uh, the, the the good idea so uh the the advice is to have a task test task for a new team member to help him to integrate into the project. So what are the benefits here? Usually when we like start work, work on a project or we uh, have a new, per, a new person working on the project, we have a trial period. Uh, so it, uh, in that trial period, the person should show himself. And usually when we interview in someone, we like asking some questions, usually from book, or uh, like overall questions, and it's it's not a common practice to to, to have a uh, to have a wide test task, but that's a matter of uh, another discussion. Uh, this test task, which should be built in mind of touching the whole parts of the project, will help you to understand how this person works what is the the code approach does this person know how to work with the linters does this person know how to make a proper project uh, where you have a complex systems and where you like have uh, the engineers that we from my experience i i'm trying while integrating a new team member in advance i'm trying to pick some task which will be relatively simple for developer of the of the expected uh, level to complete and i'm trying to give this task on the first day on the first day uh it will help first of all me to understand whether this person integration was successful did he understood how we're working did he understood our workflow but even more 
this simple task completed at the first two days or at the first week, this will give a, to the person a f un feeling or understanding that he did something useful for the project. And that, that's also beneficial because remember, not only we accepting a new team member, team member, the new team member is also tries to understand whether this team fits him. And if he, we help him to like to have a small win in the first days on the project, it will for sure motivate him to work for him. Let's speed up a bit. Second, uh, one more idea. As, as was mentioned, the one of the biggest problem, we don't have the separate man to uh, help some person to integrate. The, some solution of this problem, some of part of this problem is to uh, assign the mentor to the new team member. Even if it's a senior level team member, it's a good idea to have a separate person who will be ready to answer his questions or his or her questions on the project. It will be a talking point. It will be a, the person uh, to whom this this new team member will not be shy, should not be shy to ask question. Question. This should be like something uh, in every team. We like more. Uh, we have like more commun communicative persons, uh, less community. Uh, Less communicative persons, and this should be the person who is easy to, in finding the ways how to um, how to communicate with the with the new people. Even it's a even it's a, maybe it's a junior mentoring the senior joining on the team, but in this case, junior is a mentor in terms of the teamwork, in terms of this team. He has more experience than this new senior, even if uh, at some point um, in work they will switch places. And it will be also this is a good idea, like to form the the mentor uh, mentee uh, relationships, even if they will switch at some point. So if junior, for example, mentor the team integration of the new senior engineer later. Uh, those two engineers can be in par in pair in terms of se uh, senior engineer mentoring ju this junior engineer in development. Next thing, introduction. That's what we usually forget. Do an introductory meeting for that person for to to explain what is the project about, uh, uh, what you are working right now what have what challenges do you have what perspectives uh whether this project is time limited or it's a long-term project and uh, you have the resources for the client to church to achieve their goals but not only introduction to the project but also introduction to the team uh, so yesterday i had a new team member that joined my team and uh, I've planned the introductory meeting for him to get to know our, it's a small team, but to get to know our team, we've shared the experience, how we, how we went, how we start to develop, how we like, how we start liking the programming, uh, what experience do we have, what interesting uh, issues we've faced on the projects, what, um, what uh, interesting solutions have we found or why we left our previous projects and why we like this one and so on and so on. This helps, uh, obviously helps the person to integrate, but usually we forget about this because uh, we're thinking that this team, team member should should be the the, uh, the new part of our, in our development machine, but this is also a person and it will help everybody to feel more comfortable and it will solve the problem uh, of the team acceptance as well and even more you might found conducting these meetings you may find the new things about the team members which 
with which you work for the years because that's the opportunity for them to share as well. Uh, another advice, it's not official, but uh, try to have some uh, unofficial meetings, some parties, some uh, like team integration, uh, party outside of the office, uh, and so on and so on. Uh, create a comfortable condi conditions for people to talk to each other, to share uh, their knowledge, their life, and so on. I always say that remember that you, we, we everybody we spend in office, we spend with our colleague the biggest part of our day. Because for sure we work like for eight hours. We have eight hours to sleep and rest. Uh, we have other eight hours to go to work, to eat our lunch, to eat our breakfast, to, to cook our breakfast or supper or anything. And we have a smallest part or smaller part to, to spend with our families or, or, or friends or so on. And that's our teammates, our colleagues are important because they became our second family. They became uh, people with whom we spend most of our days. And that's really important to make them, if not the friends, but the pleasant colleagues to each other. Resuming all I've said, we, in general, we have uh, problems, three problems. We have no plan, we have no man, we have no acceptance. As a new team member, be as professional as you can, uh, be, be as initiative as you can, be as polite as you can. But do not forget that nobody likes know-it-alls. Do not forget that, that all people are different and they do not like may not like jokers, uh, jokes you have and may not, not like your attitude. Be polite, be smart, be professional. Accepting a new team member, face those three issues I've mentioned. Have a plan, have a mentor, <coughs> have a wiki page as a part of the plan, or even have a plan in, in a way of your wiki page. Uh, do not forget to uh, have the introductory meetings with it with the team and with the person to to the project don't forget about mentors and mentors can be switched handle the plan handle the man handle the introduction that's all folks uh, for the engineers of any level but if this task was handed to the junior you're expecting that he will complete it by himself to the some point, and then he will ask advice from his mentor. In this way, you 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 understand you, ex, you expect the junior will should not should, should not to, shouldn't complete this test task test task by his own from the start. You expect that at some point he will ask the mentor, and that's the appro work approach you're expecting from the junior that when he faces the problem he will ask for advice if this junior engineer do not ask for advice and uh, just like forget about the project you will see the bad work attitude even more if he will not ask for the advice but will like google will uh, work for additional time to work out this test test task by himself even more you will get the benefit by understanding that this person is self-esteem that this person is self-educated and you can work with him in, in another way you can you know, a task maybe you, his level wasn't evaluated co correctly you can give him a, a more complex task tasks and like assign mentor to check after him but he can do more and same with the medium level developer. So you're expecting that most of the tasks for this test task, test task he will complete by himself, 
but at some point he will ask for advice. He will he might want to communicate with the, uh, another teammate because communication is a is a crucial and and, and really beneficial part of the work. And you can make the uh, the conclusion. Uh, so my answer, direct answer on your question, I would like to practice on on my project to have a complex task for the senior level uh, and i will would like to, to give this task to the all level of engineers and will uh, to make conclusions how uh, by how they handle this uh, and as a result to to make my decisions I see, thank you. And uh, we have another question related also to this part. Uh, so how are you currently handling this uh, testing task? Because in most cases uh, for the outsourcing companies, we are using the client's repositories in Bitbucket, GitHub, etc. So are you creating a public repository for checking this testing task or what is the process? Okay, yeah, uh, thank you. As I mentioned, I'm for now, I'm practicing by finding these some uh, small bug on the current project and assign it on, to, on a new team member. But uh, the, for example, on my current project, we're using GitHub. And GitHub, uh, after it was bought by uh, Microsoft, I believe, they've uh, allowed free private repositories. Uh, so we can have uh, separate repository uh, for the test, uh, test task. Even more, you can go for, uh, further uh, to discuss this approach with the client. And I see no reasons for client to object to, to have a separate on-site repository, which will use the project's uh, resources, project source code. Uh, but for test, task to be completed by the new engineer to make sure to help him to integrate to get know to the system and uh, to, to to make sure that he is uh, suitable and valid for this uh, for this position because nobody from my experience no client wants to double pay for the engineers that at some point appeared not to be best suited for this, for this position. I yeah, got it thank so you that's, that, Thank you. Any more questions? Hello, guys. Can you see me? Hello. Uh, so, um, <laughs> uh, I have no question. I have a comment here. So, uh, regarding those professional initiative and stuff like that. Uh, this one, sh um, as I understood, uh, this one you proposed to apply like only when uh, you are a new team member. But my suggestion is here, uh, you should apply this whenever you like and whenever you think you may do this. Uh, for example, you uh, recently you were promoted uh, for a new position from junior to intermediate. So uh, now uh, all, the, all the team members expect you to do something unusual. So, you, as, as an intermediate, you will get uh, more responsibility as uh, even more as a senior team member, you always get more uh, responsibility. So, uh, so all, all the team members, including your manager, expect here uh, some initiative and, uh, and professionalism. So don't wait uh, for new team to be a professional. That's my point. Thank you, Yehur. That's that's really good advice. I totally agree with you. And from some point, when you're having a new position, you like a new team member, but in a very same team. And that's really good advice. Thank you for pointing that out. Anybody else? I know that Suitla doesn't have uh, project managers in their uh, structure, but did you have an experience integrating a project manager in your, I don't know, previous company, previous practice? Okay, uh, you mean integrating project manager, existing project, as a, as a manager for that project, yes? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had something similar. Uh, that's actually, uh, yeah, really 
really good question from other point of view when you're like not integrating a team member as you being senior, but you trying to integrate a senior team member. Yeah, I had a relative experience and we've integrated the, uh, in one of the companies I worked, we've integrated the uh, Scrum Master as the new team member. And actually it was the most challenging integration in my life uh, because I had no official leading position, as I mentioned. I just like feel myself as a host, as a really com communicative person. I have a, I think that's my responsibility to be a welcome. And I've helped the team lead of uh, of that current team to integrate the Scrum Master. I believe it was the the fail from really big fail from our side because the uh, I, I would say it was fail from my side uh, because we were were really really polite and trying not to over the overwhelm the, the new scrum master with the tasks so during the and the some period of time i've had the duties of the scrum mastering of our team and when the the sp dedicated person came to be a scrum master i've tried to give give them he give him those duties partially part by part but he was so sneaky guy uh, that he uh, like have not taken responsibility and was always complaining that he, he like has no time it's so overwhelming hope for him and uh, he is uh, uh, he forgot to do something and for example uh, we have like 15 minutes before the demo and the demo presentation is not ready or it is not filled with the with the tickets that were completed so the developers are preparing to uh, their parts their parts to demo the project but the presentation isn't ready and like i had to jump in and then quickly to compile the presentation and have a list and so on and so on. And this experience is negative in terms of that, like kinda this new person banded the, the workflow of the established workflow of the team and expectations of the team in his way, taking less responsibility and uh, Though I advise to the uh, team lead to uh, get rid of this guy on the early stages, he like we have uh, several talks with him, and he's he promised that he will do better and so on and so on. But by the time of the um, trial period, uh, nobody had the courage or responsibility to 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 face that this person did not really meet the expectations of the team. He did meet the expectations of the management. They, why they're, uh, that's why they stated him uh, on, on, the, on, the, on this position. But unfortunately, uh, that negative practice uh, proceeded and it, it took a lot of uh, time and nerve from the team lead, from the other team members to force this person to, 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 to work his duties. And that leads me to the conclusion that integration not always can, can go well. And the trial period is called so because it's, 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 it's time of trials and you need to use it carefully. It's really hard to like, to, to 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 tell somebody that sorry man you didn't you do not fit our team or we expect better or or something like that it's hard to to say these words and uh, because like you have a you feel a responsibility that person might be fired but that's the challenge that should be met by your role if you are team leader if you are person who who can or should make these decision decisions 
you should have the responsibility here. So answering your question, uh, I, I, I had this like negative experience and I made my conclusions and uh, I think we've started a good strategy uh, in terms of, because if you don't have a uh, Scrum Master or, or the manager on the project, but you have already a team and you have already worked on uh, with, the, with the customer, somebody had to do this work that meant to be done by the Scrum Master or, 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 or our manager. And you need to work out the plan how to pass this responsibility of, of that work to this new manager. And uh, to make sure that he, he handles it, fits it, and if not, to make a courage to say, sorry, man, we need somebody else. That's it about my experience.